Jealousy on the Wind, and Surprising Ex-Boyfriend. Ooh, yeah, we were here. Corbin, and today we are going to be talking about Hide and Seek by Yaya Sakaragi. This is volume two. We shall read the back, delve into it, and get into the nitty gritty. Hide and Seek. On a whim, shop owner Sajuji Tanahara hooks up with a reserved pediatrician, Takafumi Saji. Saji wasn't expecting much from the fling, but after seeing an unexpected side of the serious doctor while out on a date, Saji finds himself becoming more attracted to the man. When Saji accidentally sees Takafumi kissing someone else, he's surprised at how conflicted it makes him feel. To make matters worse, the doctor tells Suji that he won't be able to see him for a while. Will the relationship that started as a fling finally deepen into something more? Now, this is rated 18 plus. It's published by Sublime. I'm guessing in partnership with Sakura Comics CLDX. But yeah. So let's start off with the very beginning, which gives us a artwork I'm not exactly going to show you because it's not exactly PG, but I will go like this. Um, there's that artwork. This one is pretty much in color right here. On the other page, it is a very, very, very hot kind of art piece. And overall, the art style in this is a very cute... I don't want to say cute, but overall, a semi-realistic anime kind of style. But it's still that awkwardly everybody's really lanky and long kind of style, which is not necessarily my biggest, like, yay, it's hot, I love looking at it. It's usually a huge deterrent for me when I'm looking at mangas in general, but this one is really, really, really good. I absolutely cannot say enough amazing things about this artwork. Everybody is very expressive, everybody is well-centered, everybody is well-proportioned for the art style, and I absolutely love it. Now, this one, in a lot of ways, has far more emotional expression within the artwork, so you see a lot more of the characters being happy, sad, crying. You see their whims and their moods change. So that is something I really thoroughly enjoy. It is a little different than past volumes where, well, the past volume, where we see just kind of like a blanket emotion and no real arc. In this one, we see tons of arc, tons of variation, tons of facial expression, tons of body expression, tons of movement, tons of passion. We see all of that within the art itself. Now, plotline wise, again, I will tell you guys, the sex in this is very, very hot. It, there is a few sex scenes, and I will tell you that they are very well depicted. I mean, I absolutely, I, I, I still sit there and I'm like fluttering over it. But that doesn't hurt the story. It's actually a great vessel within the plotline itself. The Yowie opens up kind of like a to be continued section. Um, we open up with him being talking to the doctor about what the heck kind of deal and then pretending nothing's wrong and then the doctor kind of sort of not really explains what happened they kind of sort of not really break up and then they kind of sort of really not they get back together and then they kind of sort of fight again <clears throat> and break up again then they kind of sort of get back together now that's how the story runs in a nutshell. I'm trying to avoid giving you guys plot line, but it's very riveting. It does hold you to your seat very, very well. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I actually absolutely loved it. Um, four and a half out of five. It's not five out of five because it's kind of hokey towards the end and there's a third volume. And I think they could have left it off on two volumes, but I haven't read the third one yet, so I don't really know. So yeah. If you guys have questions or comments, shoot them down below. Give me a thumbs up and share this with a friend who likes Shaoi. And let me know if you guys have read this series before. I know some of you have and have been lovely about commenting and letting me know about the artist and different Yaois I should be leaving. And I really, really, really enjoy that. So yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Do you like what you see? Hmm, then... Subscribe!